What's up friends? Happy holidays and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the Ho Ho writing tag which I saw over on Brittany's channel, Brittany and Books. She does writing and booktube so I'll have her video linked down below and I can't wait to do this. Since Camp NaNoWriMo I've been in a full slump until this month. <laughs> This tag was created by Hope, so I'll link her video down below as well. This is just a Christmas themed writing tag, so I'm going to get right into it. If you haven't seen any of my writing videos, I'll try and put the playlist up here. Um, but I do talk about writing sometimes on my channel. I've been branching out into more writing content this year and would like to continue it next year. So I thought I would finish out the year with this and just so I could talk about all of my writing plans right now. Let's get started. The elf hat was nice and all, but the bells are just too much for me. The first question is Santa Claus, and that is if you could ask Santa for one thing off your author bucket list, what would you ask for and why? Some things on my author bucket list can't really happen because I have just a first draft right now. So I'm going to be going with Brittany's answer where she said an agent, um, or I'm just going to say maybe a mentor. Um, I definitely need a mentor because I'm afraid to even go into my draft. I'm very terrified about editing, um, but I am writing a new work in progress, which I'll talk about more in this video. Next is the ghost of Christmas past, and that is what is one piece of advice that you would give to your past self or to fellow aspiring writers? And for that, it is just to outline. If you've seen my vlogs, when I started Camp Nano, I was a wreck. I am a full pantser. I just have an idea in my head and I can't outline, I can't do a character profile, anything, I just need to write it. And that is what's happening right now. So I'm not even taking my own advice, but as a pantser, I have realized that outlining is very beneficial because when you get to your first draft and you haven't touched it in a couple months, then you look at it and you realize that you don't know anything that's going on. Also write notes for yourself, like literally just write everything down because then you're going to go back and be very happy with yourself because if you don't do that, then you're going to be really confused. So outline, it'll really help you in the long run. I'm not even taking my own advice because I have barely outlined my new work in progress. <laughs> so many resources. I use the three act structure, which I'll try and link down below. Um, just because the 27 chapters, it just doesn't work for me. But if I at least have like three acts, it kind of helps me build and structure everything. So yes, outline. It helps. Don't be like me and not outline anything. <laughs> Next is Elves. Santa has his little helpers. What resource has been the most helpful to you or most invaluable to your writing process? I have to say AuthorTube. There are so many great resources on YouTube from authors or just fellow writers and I have learned a lot through watching those. Um, NaNoWriMo has a YouTube channel too and that is very beneficial. I specifically have been watching Alexa Dunn. I really like her and I am writing a retelling and she has a whole video about how to write a good retelling and I loved her advice. It really helped me. She said that you need to have key points where people will recognize it being a retelling. You know if you've read a retelling how loose it could be and you could totally forget that it's a retelling. So I thought that that was really good advice and it has helped me with my writing process and some of my outlining. I didn't not outline, I just didn't fully outline. So she had really good advice about retellings and it has really helped me. Next is gingerbread cookies and that is what is your favorite holiday treat and what is your main character's favorite holiday treat from your current work in progress. I love all cookies. My favorite has to be spritz cookies. I'm gonna actually make them after this. Um, I really like to make the peanut butter blossoms. Um, they're just the peanut butter cookies with the Hershey Kisses in the middle. Um, M&M cookies, which I just made in my recent reading vlog where I had an advent calendar pick my TBR. I love chocolate chip cookies, which I actually just made as well. Um, I just love all cookies, but those are some of my favorites. And for my main character, I'm going to be going with the book that you all know about more, and that is Breaking the Ice, my hockey book. This is about a 17-year-old trans boy named Gabe who plays hockey, and... His favorite would be anything peppermint. 
I just think that he would be the guy who just gets all of those weird candy canes from Walmart. Like, you know what they are. You know the weird ones you see, like the Oreo, Sour Patch Kids. I know that he would just have all of the weird ones and then him and his friends would all try them. And I could just see that happening. But definitely anything peppermint. He does have a friend who bakes and I feel like she would probably end up using the leftover candy canes that he has. Um, and they could definitely make something really weird out of that or maybe something really good. Next is holiday traditions and that is what is your favorite holiday tradition and what fictional character would you like to share that tradition with? I'm really bummed this year because every year we go to one of my relatives houses and we have a big family and so we go and do a white elephant exchange where everyone puts a gift under the tree either five to ten dollars and then we all go around and get like gag gifts and stuff and it's hilarious and that's just my favorite tradition and i'm just sad we're not doing it this year um but i would bring along julian diaz from cemetery boys because i think he would love it he just loves chaotic energy and I think that it would be a riot because he would get a gag gift and then he's a ghost. So everybody would be like, okay, whose gift was that? And he would pick a gift when it's his turn and you would just see a gift floating away. So I think that my family would really enjoy that and it would be so funny. And Julian would be laughing really hard and it would just be a really fun time. The next question is Stars of Bethlehem. That is what started your journey to write your first book. Has the journey turned out like you imagined? And where would you like to see it go in the future. I talk about this more in my first NaNoWriMo video about how I won NaNoWriMo the first time. I just had a dream basically. A lot of my ideas come from dreams that I've had and then I'm like okay I need to write this story. I can't even remember the dream now but I just remembered that I had a dream and I was like okay I need to write a hockey book. Um, and most of my dreams have turned into the books that I'm writing. My journey has really been successful. Um, I finished my first draft this summer which was really good because I had that since when I won NaNoWriMo in November and had not touched it. I think it was only like the 50,000 words that I had. So this summer I finished off a draft of 85,000 words and I'm very happy with it. For the future I would really love to just finish this book. Um, I would love to just have it as a final manuscript and be able to send it on submission. Um, I just feel like we really need to have, I just think we really need to have stories about trans people in sports because there's just a lot that goes into it. So I'm hoping that one day I can get Breaking the Ice traditionally published. Next is The Night Before Christmas. What is your favorite book to read during the holidays? And for me, it is All the Boys I Love Before, but I have not read it in a long time. I used to read it every Christmas. I've read it five times and I was going to do it this year, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time, um, but I would really like to. I'm just kind of torn because I'm like, oh, I already know the story and because of the movies and all of that but I would like to just do a full reread of that series because I've only read the first and second book. Oh, I've read the first book five times, the second book maybe like two or three, and I have never reread the final book. And I'm pretty sure it's coming to Netflix, so maybe I'll have to do a reread next year. What's your best advice for juggling writing during the busy holiday season? I'm more of like a low-key writer, like I'm just chill. Um, just when I don't have to do NaNoWriMo, it's amazing because I don't force myself. I always say don't rush it because anything creative, if you rush it, you're not going to enjoy it. Um, so definitely just don't rush it. If you're busy, you're busy. If you've written just like a couple words, like a sentence, then that's writing. Like I don't think that you really need to have a whole agenda. <laughs> I love breaks. So if you need to take a break during the holidays, that's fine. Especially if you just did NaNoWriMo, you're gonna be burned out. So if you can't write after NaNoWriMo, that is entirely fine and life happens. Sometimes things happen and you shouldn't really stress about a hobby because once you're stressing about a hobby, then it doesn't really become fun anymore. Next is Polar Express and that is what helps you get into the writing mood and for me, I don't have one. Um, I just listen to music while I write, I guess. My, my process is kind of hard to describe because when I just start writing, then I know I'm writing a certain character, then I'll just start writing and they come alive. Um, but I don't really have anything special that really does help me, but I do listen to music while I write. Next is sugar and spice and everything nice. 
in the spirit of spreading kindness and cheer, give a special shout out to someone who has been instrumental in your writing journey or someone who has really helped you along the way. I don't really have anyone specific. I don't really have like writing friends that I like talk to a lot. I am in a discord where I do talk to people who are also writing. I do appreciate the words of encouragement that I get on Twitter. I've recently said, oh, I've been in a slump and I just wrote 1.7k words and people were like, yay, um, and very encouraging. So to those people, yay. Um, but there are also some people in my life, but for the most part, I don't really think that I have one specific person. Um, maybe it's just like a group of people. So that was the last question in the ho ho writing tag. Don't forget to check out Brittany's channel and the original creator of this tag. Um, Brittany talks all about writing on her channel and I love her content so definitely go and watch her. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. If you would like to see more writing videos hit subscribe if you haven't and my writing video playlist will be in the cards if you would like to go and watch it after this. And just know more about my writing. Um, I do write contemporary and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below because I am going to be doing a end of the year Q&A. So if you have any writing questions about my new work in progress, if you have any questions about breaking the ice, any bookish questions, any maybe personal questions, definitely leave them down below so I know to include them. <laughs> That's it for me today. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe. Happy holidays, and I will see you next time. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you want.